everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to greener and cleaner beauty. And today I am back with unboxing. Yes, that is correct. I have some goodies from Pettivore, from Safe and Chic, from a couple of other places. And I wanted to unbox with you because like, yeah, that's what we do over here, okay? So let's get into it. Heads up, if you're going from toxic to non-toxic and have no clue where to start, Check out my free green beauty guide back on the website. It's the one pager I wish I had when I first started out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Let's start with Safe and Chic because yeah, I just feel like it. We've got uh, some really interesting stuff in here. And by interesting, it's not really interesting to me because I already bought it. Anyway, I've been talking about trying Elate Cosmetics for, oh, I don't know, six months, a year. I don't know, it took me a while. But I finally have Elate in my hands, in my fingertips. This, this, the Elate Mascara. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, where's my mirror? I already have mascara on my lashes and such, but I wanna do a little bit of a first impression on, ooh, okay. It's very hard to tell. Huh. Huh. Um, oh, actually, maybe not so much. It's coating pretty nicely. I'm currently wearing, ooh, I'm wearing Ilia. I see some lengthening happening here, so that's kind of promising. But I'm just excited to have a late, to be honest with you. I'm just, I'm just so happy I finally remembered to do that in my monthly samples. So, yay me. Uh, the other Elate product that I purchased was their bronzer. It's this flare, and it has a little bit of sheen to it. I like different types of bronzers for different types of days. So I have this. I forget what color. What color? K Calor, the Goddess Glow Bronzer. Let's give this a little, a little swipe, shall we? See how it's, I don't wanna go too crazy. Oh, it's actually kinda of subtle. Hmm, it's more of like a honey color, which I really like. I'm veering in that direction now. I used to do a lot more cooler tone bronzers. On a personal note, I'm just really getting into the honey colors, like that caramel, honey, now I'm hungry. But you know what I mean, with the bronzers. And I'll see if this has actual specks of metallic. I know that's a question I receive quite a bit with highlighters. Currently, I don't see it, but I'll check it out on bare skin and see what happens there. Overall, it seems very, very subtle and nice little honey warming bronziness happening here. We'll keep giving this a shot. By we, I mean me. Then I have, oh, 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 you guys. Everybody was asking me to try this, so I got it. It's the velvet. Glow foundation from the one and only Vapor Organic Beauty, although now they're just Vapor because they've rebranded. And you can get all their old stuff for cheap, cheap, cheap because they're phasing out. Velvet Glow Foundation. It's a little bit more, definitely more liquid, scaring me a little bit because it reminds me slightly of the Kosas in terms of how it just sounds. It's like PTSD. So let's see. Oh, it's very liquidy. really actually very nice it's hard to tell but I got this in color 123 V which is actually around where I'm at um, although a lot of their formulas have changed so you got to kind of be careful and check again it feels lovely it does feel like a velvet finish not greasy not oily not creamy very lightweight this is gonna be very interesting to see not only how it applies but I wanna see how this holds up. So the full day wear test will come in handy here. I'm just excited I got it because everybody's been asking me about it, so it's coming. Next, I have the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. Serum Highlighter. Man, everyone's really jumping on that, like let's put a serum in it. Let's make it makeup and skincare. And I'm okay with that. Gel-based serum highlighter provides fresh, luminous glow while fusing the benefits of makeup and skincare. Yep. Da -da 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 -da. Serum like consistency, green actives from seawater, medical resin from trees on the Greek island of Chios. Seriously. Sometimes this just feels very much like marketing jargon, but I'm I'm a recovering marketer, so that's probably a part of it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. I haven't been trying a lot of highlighters lately, so I'm gonna be doing a roundup seasonal update of the best of products instead of just doing them one off on the channel. It's really hard for you guys to find them. This is the constant feedback I'm hearing, and I love your feedback, so it helps me. I'm not complaining, I, I really appreciate it. Here you go. Here it is. 
Hey, Glowy. Hi, Glow. Ooh. It's actually not that crazy glowy. I wonder what this would just be like with concealer as the foundation. A little too glowy? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to try that out. Honestly, I expected this to be more highlight Whoa. of a highlight than it almost looks like a tinted highlight moisturizer serum. I don't know. It's impossible to define at the current state, but it doesn't feel like a straight up strobe light highlighter. I think this might get a lot of use. Find out, but I feel very good about it. Anyway, so I'm gonna start doing these quarterly updates so you can see the best of for the season from me using my scorecards. And it's all gonna be rounded up into a nice little easy sequence. So you can just go to one place and you can find the best of, and I'll talk about people who have oily skin types drier skin types, looking for anti-aging benefits or pro-aging well benefits, things like that. One spot, right? It's finally happening. Oh, can't wait to launch it. There's more details coming there. You will eventually be seeing my response to your comments like, check out the seasonal guide, check out the seasonal guide because I want to have it all in one place for you. We're evolving. We're evolving. And you're helping me do it, by the way, which honestly is pretty much the coolest thing ever. And I, I don't say that lightly, I actually mean it. I love that because of what you tell me and how thoughtful you are with your comments and your feedback, I'm able to adjust and learn and you're sticking with me and we're doing it together. And I just, this is like the coolest, I freaking love it. I, I love doing this. It's crazy, I know, but I love it. Um, all right, so this is the Kosas 10 Second Eyeshadow. Visionary pigment suspended in fluid for a modern wash of color. I actually really like that copy. I told you it's the marker or anything. Sweep over clean dry lids and blend with a finger, doe foot, or eyeshadow brush to desired color. Close cap tightly, whatever. Obviously you want to close cap tightly. It's fluid, see? Kind of goes back and forth. Very wet looking, very liquid looking. I'm wearing white, so that's exciting. Doe foot applicator. It is drenched with this beautiful, beautiful bronzy copper color. This is in color Element, and they just said to put this on a dry lid. So what am I doing? Not that. You know, first impressions, why not? Uh, I feel like this is going to be very pigmented. What am I doing? Oh god. Oh boy. Yep, there it is. 10 seconds. I guess that's... Oh boy. Yeah, you should definitely do this on a clean lid. But it is really nice in terms of payoff. And I did swatch it for you so you can take a look at that. Ooh, you know what? This would be really good as, I don't know how I control my hand enough, but potentially an eyeliner. That would be really fun. And actually, I wonder how it would be, oh God, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why are you making me do this? Yeah. I feel like this could be a multitasker as well. The 10 second dry time will make it a little bit trickier, but whatever. Pretty cool. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. The last Kosas review I did was pretty sad, so. I felt like they needed a happy moment on the channel, you know? Okay. Now, I have the Clove and Hallow, their new mascara. <sighs> have you guys tried this? I thought this would be a bigger launch for them. I don't know, I feel like the buzz came and went really quickly, and I don't know if that's because nobody liked it, or maybe they liked it and they're just like, leave us alone, we really like it, we're using it, okay? Nice, giant bristles and brush. Try it on the other lash. Pile on, pile on the mascara today. Tammy Faye, channeling Tammy Faye. Oh, okay, see this one I can tell instantly. It's depositing a lot of product. Might be better at lengthening than it is volumizing. Not sure yet, but just with a few swipes, I could already see a bunch of product go onto the lash. It's separating the lashes a little bit. That's not fair, because I'm just doing it on top of other mascara, so. This is really interesting. I know that there's a lot of different things going on here. Lightweight, heavy punch, clean ingredients, volume, and a dose of hydration. I mean, I would love that, but I don't see how mascara is gonna be hydrating my lashes. Lots of coconut oil here, or just one mention of it, to be honest with you. Mmm, yeah. I have to look up what PVP is again. It doesn't strike me as good, but I don't know. And I got a free Clarity Awakening Face Cream. Mm. That face, by the way, is because it smelled a little bit like patchouli. And I don't like patchouli. Rose and calendula. Okay, pretty good roundup, right? Got the vapor, got the elate in there. This Kosas stuff, like what's that gonna do? I don't know. Next, 
Oh, I got replenishments. I just wanted to show you this. So I just got another magic mitt from Jane Iredale. This thing is, I always have one of these. Um, you don't really need to buy a lot of them. They last very long. So the, the point isn't to just keep buying them for sustainability reasons. It's just better than using the makeup wipes, obviously. Um, and it is a type of fiber that works incredibly well at removing makeup. It doesn't hurt your acid mantle, all the rest of it. I've talked about this before, but I just want you to know I keep on getting these to replenish. I got that from um, pharma and then I bought the eye of Oris brow pencil again in Niles in another box and I just I just started using this sorry it's already kind of unboxed but I'm just gonna tell you about it it's the 100% pure brow gel medium brown and it is like their version for the glossier oh it's green tea fiber brow builder hello Brittany it's on the container mascara for your brows they wrote that in French. I don't even know if that's what it says. <laughs> so anyway, this is like their version of the Glossier Boy Brow. You know what's really weird is that there are neighbors that can totally see me right now and they're just like staring. I'm just gonna keep going. And then I have the Pettivore box, which is right here. Oh, well, weird. There's, I just, you know, I moved into a new building and I'm facing a courtyard. Sorry, I have to say this. And there was just like, you can see right across. Usually people don't put their blinds down, but there was just this guy like you're just staring. Creepy. Moving on. October 2019 beauty box. Y'all. So still loving Penny Four. Summer hit, summer miss. I always recommend this. I would like to try a new clean beauty box though. Why don't you guys tell me what your favorite clean beauty box is? I want to know. I know I've received recommendations in the past. Sorry, I'm going to ask you again. And uh, maybe I'll do a poll on Instagram as well so you can tell me there. So we have the Acar, Acar Skin, Acorn. Just kidding. I want to say Acorn. Balance Toning mist. Toning mists and toners are a little lost on me. Some people swear by them. Maybe this is my moment to get inspired about what toners do. I know a lot of people say they're very helpful. So achieve true balance with this fine non-sticky mist of rose and orange blossom spritz to provide gentle hydration, neutralize pH, and allow greater absorption. That I recall. So they say use a toner to enhance the absorption of something else you put on. But you know what? I'm trying all these retinol alternatives. I'll give that a shot. I'll let you guys know how it performs. I should probably know quickly. I even know if it's enhancing absorption. That's a better question. The next, K-Voss. I like K-Voss. They haven't put K-Voss in here in a while. Um, or maybe they just say K-Voss, but I feel like it's K-Voss. I don't know. This is the Shine On Stick in Metallic Sunrise. Hey girl, nothing like a sunrise stick as we head into winter. That was sarcasm, by the way. K-Voss. Ooh, that's kind of fun. You see that? What's going on there? It's like orange. I don't know. You're kind of fun. You even do. Okay, read the description. I always don't. This creamy highlighter stick made with wild flax and kapua ku. Kapua ku? Kupukchu? Pikachu, Pikachu. Butter creates a buildable and blendable glow with an iridescent finish, adds dimensioned, and glides on easily. Adds dimension. Adds peach. Peachy. Okay. This is more glittery. I feel like this is like, okay, let's go to Coachella. Or swipe it on the lid without wearing all the other makeup I'm wearing and it's a subtle shadow. It's fun. It's the point. I would have never bought this on my own. And it's a full size, so. I'll keep giving that a test. I don't know. We have two more, okay. Lux Camu Brightening Moisturizer. Where are you at? Revitalize the skin's luminosity with this buttery moisturizing cream infused with vitamin C rich Camu Camu. This Amazonia superfruit fades the appearance of dark spots and repairs environmental damage, revealing a glowing complexion. I just want to say something here, okay? This whole thing about this Amazonian superfruit fading the appearance of dark spots, repairing environmental damage, and revealing a glowing complexion. If you think that applying this every day is going to do all those things, and just like backtrack your skin, just get you to that Benjamin Buttonness of it all. I'm gonna say no. The thing about skincare and these product descriptions, now this might be an awesome moisturizer and it might be fantastic, but this 
this daily use will help. It is a supplement, in my opinion, to what you're putting in your mouth, how stressed you are, if you're ever outside and getting natural sunlight on your skin. I mean, all of those things matter so much more than putting a cream on your face. So like, I don't know, I think I've gone on a tangent. I love the creams. I love the serum, that's fine. I just don't see them as silver bullets. And to say that, it's gonna reveal a glowing complexion because it has camu camu. There are so many other variables. Why am I, I'm not gonna put this on my face. It smells really nice. A little herbal though. Some people don't like that herbaceous smell. Very nice feel. Massage a small amount onto face. After applying botanical serums, use twice a day. Shake well. How do you shake this? Okay. That one sort of just set me off a little bit. The last is the Province Apothecary. Apothecary? Is it really what I just said? Provence Apothecary. I kind of want to say Provence, but it's not Provence. It's Provence Apothecary. It's very hard to get out. I'm just saying, I don't know if I'm tired. I don't think I am. I got like 10 hours of sleep last night, which is insane. It's just me. Moisturizing cleanser and makeup remover. Ooh, calming and hydrating raspberry bergamot frankincense. This is the one I was talking about. There are a lot of essential oils, ladies, so could be too Ricky. Restores the skin's natural radiance by gently cleansing without over drying or destroying the pH. I love these gentle cleansers. Very rarely find one that works. The French Girl Clay Cleanser, by the way, it has a little bit of exfoliation that I got for the Petty Bore Box. Really good for me and it was much less harsh than anything else I've used. Massage onto wet skin, remove with a damp face cloth, use nightly. I can do that. I will report back. That's it. That's all she wrote. That is the Petty Bore Box. That actually is everything that I had to unbox today. Thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing and first impressions and trying these things out. I gotta go take pictures of them all and then swatch them and do my intake process. I'm gonna go nerd out, organize, and do things like that. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. It really, really helps and I appreciate it. I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then, bye.